I only use one product on my hair, so this is blonde. Like, I'm like a blonde white woman. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Janae. I run a blog called High Low Lux, and I focus on luxury, beauty, fashion, and travel. And today we are talking hair, more specifically, all of my wigs. Really quick, I do want to share this video is sponsored today by Waterless Hair Care. And these are the products I'm going to be sharing today from Waterless Hair Care. Of course, I will talk about them as they apply to each wig and kind of like how I use them, what I use them for. But I've been trying these out. Hopefully you can see that. I'll pop up some pictures or something. Um, but I have been trying these out. But in particular, the only um, product I use on my hair ever besides shampoo and conditioner is dry shampoo. That's the only thing I usually need. So I've been using the dry shampoo from Waterless Hair Care. And then they also have some other goodies that I've been trying as well. So... I'll share those with you as they pop up. Okay, I have my bin of wigs here. So we're gonna go through them so that you can always come back and reference this video. If I get more questions, I will send you to this video. So it's gonna be helpful for our whole Lux Step community, okay? Hey guys, I also wanted to add the waterless lineup is designed to provide a wide range of products that work on diverse hair types to give you clean, conditioned, and great smelling hair without any water. Let's get into the video. So the first unit, which is what I'm wearing. This is from Luxor Studio. I will pop up the name here, and of course it'll be in the description box. Um, all of the ladies I'm talking about, I follow them, they follow me, and um, that's how I found them, through Instagram. Um, and she is also a beautician. She does hair so well, but she's not in my area. Um, but this hair is from her. And I created this unit. I created it with a glue gun. No, I'm never gonna make a video about it. <laughs> just google it youtube it that's how i learned um but yeah this is just something i made i think the hair was initially like 12 inches and then i cut it into this bob and i do have a closure and i put the specs below i want to say it's her deep wave or deep curly something like that but i put all the specifics below and then i'll put their insta her instagram page below as well but again this is from luxor studio it's a bob that i made um and it's just like a little cap I got from Amazon I'll link that below too because I get them in like packs whenever I need to make a wig um, and then I just use a hot glue gun and they last forever I know a lot of people like when I first started making wigs I would sew them and I got time for that it's 2020 I don't got time for that uh, so glue gunning like using a glue gun I can make a wig in like an hour um, and I sew the clo I'll sew the closure on and then I'll glue all the tracks and yeah that's worked for me so that is what this is that is what I'm wearing and again I cut it into the bob and then I just um, put a side part in and sometimes I have to I'm not a professional so I have to play around until like I can figure out how to make things work um, if it's something that I made so like this wig I've had for like a year and I'm just now wearing it because I was trying to do a middle part for a while and it just wasn't I just wasn't feeling it but I needed a side part so that's that on this wig okay Moving on, and for this one, um, I don't I don't use dry shampoo or any products on any curly hair. I just use water. Oh, that's a lie. There, there's some. There's one curly unit that I do use product on. But for this one, I don't use any product. So the only thing I've been using is this waterless hair care product. This is just a fragrance mist because it basically is like perfume for your hair, and who don't like that? So um, this is rose and peach. They have a few flavors or scents. But I like rose and peach because I love rose. That's my favorite scent. Um, so this is the one I've been using and I just like spray and it's just nice when people like hug you or you meet people. Your hair smells good. Especially since I don't use any other products that would make my hair smell good besides shampoo. So that's all for the first unit. I only have five or six. So hopefully this video. Okay, the next unit is probably the most popular girl in class. <laughs> And this is her. She's the only one that's on a wig head because I'm going to be wearing her soon. So I'm trying to like prep her. Um, but this is like my highlighted honey blonde super long unit. This, this is Bay right here. Um, she is from the wig house, the wig house. I'll put it here again. And I'll take her off so you guys can kind of see how it's made. Um, so the, the lady that made this wig she has her own company but she is also a celebrity hairstylist so i know when i first started my channel a lot of you were trying to get in touch with her listen i don't control any of that um i know she worked on the wendy williams show for a while and now she's like doing a lot of um just like working on different shows um so she's a busy lady um so she's trying to kind of like launch her company but she also 
it's kind of like a side business at this point so when she has time email her but when she has time um she will get back to you but that's who made this and honestly i don't have any specs on this hair because this was just a custom creation i told her i wanted to try color i had never had color in my hair like any type of colored units um sew-ins anything and I told her, I sent her a few pictures of like, oh, maybe I could try like a few brown highlights or like, you know, something around my face. And she made this and she sent me, we FaceTimed and she was like, she's based in New Jersey, I think. We FaceTimed and she was like, what do you think? And I was like, oh my God, that's a lot of color. <laughs> um, but I loved it. So yeah, I've had this for, since June, I think. Um, since June of 2019 and she is stunning. But again, I don't know. I would say the length is probably, 24 inches and of course i'll pop up some pictures so you can see what it looks like on um but she is probably like 24 inches but i don't know like what type of hair or anything like that like she supplied everything and created the wig for me but again i will link her below i will link her personal instagram and her business instagram and just email her i know there are people that have dm me and said they got wigs made but then there's a lot of you that um, are still waiting on a response so when she has time of course she will get back to you so that's this oh and for this one because of the blonde i tried not to wash it that much um i do use purple like shampoo to make sure that it doesn't get brassy and that the blonde stays intact so um i don't wash it that much so i use a lot of dry shampoo on this so i've been using this one from waterless hair care when i do wear this and it's a mousse so i just put some in my hand and then i just kind of mainly work it into the root and usually like the front of my like the Part that frames my face because that gets oily the quickest and then i just kind of brush it out and it gives it that kind of like blown out bouncy look so on this one any of my straight units i use um dry shampoo a lot because especially this one again because i don't want to ruin the color and i want to keep it nice and kind of like that ash blonde so that's that on this one next up back in the then okay wigs. next up is this <laughs> curly um this is like my natural looking unit of course i'll pop up a picture um this hair unfortunately not unfortunately because it's great hair it's from a company called her protege and she still hasn't launched yet so i know when i was wearing this a lot of you were very frustrated because you couldn't order the hair and she reached out to me and said she was launching her company in like two months um and asked if she could send me some hair and i said of course you know i always try to support black owned businesses um yeah so then i started wearing it and tagging her and she's still working on the website <laughs> so again just be patient um but that's i know super unfortunate but that i mean that's there's pros and cons to working with small businesses and women that are kind of like starting their brands um is that sometimes you just have to be patient and give them a little grace so this hair i want to say is her deep curly and I got it in 20 inches, I believe. And then I kind of, this is the wig I also made myself. Um, so I got a closure and then I glued on the tracks and then I kind of just cut it into, kind of frame my face a little. And then I'll show you, I do the elastic band method. So all of my wigs have bands on them and I get these from the fabric store because they're really soft and they want like mess up your edges. Um, so it's like really nice material, not like regular elastic. Um, and then you can kind of see this is like the material of the cap um, so yeah and I just this holds it on tight don't do it too tight because you will get a headache <laughs> just tight enough so it won't fall off and that is her of course I will link this one below um, and she has an Instagram page with all the specific details but her website still says coming soon so just be patient just be patient um and this one i do use product so this is the only unit um i use product obviously because it's like natural hair so i do have to use um like a leave-in conditioner and something to like get the curls to pop so i don't have like a holy grail kind of thing but i do use some type of like pudding or something once um it's like i wash it and it's wet i do put something in to kind of like keep the curls intact like right now she hasn't been worn in a few months um, but when I want to wear her I do have to put product in her to make sure she doesn't just like get huge and look all disheveled so okay next up that. is another wig 
Hoss unit. I think I'm saying that right. And this, she looks a little disheveled. Don't mind her. I will pop up pictures because she's been, again, in the bin of wigs since I worn her. This is the blondest blonde, but it is so perfectly like created. It has so much like depth and oh, she's stunning. Um, so this is from the wig house again. Um, the owner is Robin Michelle Beauty. I think that's her Instagram name. I love her again she she is a she is a beast with color a master with color I wore this to Paris Fashion Week and <laughs> again she's such a creative um, that I was like okay you know I'm really trying to come with something different um, I'm, I'm really into the blonde that that other unit she made I was like but you know maybe we can do something with a little more blonde and she was like Janae I need you to I need you to commit <laughs> I need you to commit I have a vision <laughs> and she sent me a couple of pictures and I was like oh my god but I trusted her um, so she sent me this I was like leaving for Paris like in two days and she sent me this and I put it on and I was like oh my god this is blonde like I'm like a blonde white woman like this is blonde <laughs> but um, I really loved it again I'll pop up pictures but I wore it I only took this because I wanted to force myself to wear it during fashion week so I had no choice um, and I really got out of my comfort zone and I really loved it um, I would say again I don't have a lot of specs because she you know has the hair and does everything but I would say this is like 12 inches and then the color is custom um, and she also does uh, elastic bands inside of hers um, it just depends on what you like that's what I'm comfortable with I take my wigs off every day I'm um, just so I can like tend to my hair um, so I don't need to like glue them down or do anything like that um, yeah and this is just a middle part and she did such a good job of like the roots too where it's like looks for it to be this blonde I think it looked really I don't want to say natural because I'm not a natural blonde but it looked really flattering um, on my skin tone so loved this one another wig house creation anything with color is from the wig house because I can't even <laughs> okay next up and on that one again I only use um, dry shampoo um, because again I don't anything with color I don't want to wash too much I may wash it like if I'm wearing it consistently I may wash it once every three weeks maybe once a month because the worst thing that can happen is that the color gets all brassy and looks crazy again I wash it with dry, with um, purple shampoo but then I use a lot of um, dry shampoo anytime I feel like it's oily or getting a little greasy especially because I'm putting oil on my hair so over time that oil is gonna seep through to the wig okay guys last but not least is my long black unit that I've been wearing recently and this is from my boo Ivy League tresses of course she will be linked below this is her Instagram um, but again we both follow each other and she started her hair her hair company um, I want to say maybe a year ago I've been following her for longer than that um, and she reached out to me or I, I don't remember how we connected um, but her hair is flawless it's thick um, I have a few units from her I also have this bob but it, this literally the same hair this is a, I just cut into a bob um, but this is the newer one I've been wearing she's super long this is 24 inches um, I layered it I layer all of my hair so if you were wondering about like the actual cut um, anytime it's long I put layers in myself because I know what I like and her hair is so thick it is worth every penny um this is two bundles and a closure she sent me three bundles i i put in the three bundles and i had to take them out because it was so much hair and i could even stand to take some out of here because i like even though it's long i still like it to look somewhat natural and not like crazy thick and overwhelming um but yeah her closures are super thick again this has an elastic band in it um and it's just like that same cap material and i didn't dye this black um, I know like usually some hair comes like kind of like a natural a natural brown or lighter brown um, but hers is it is brown but it's so like it has such a sheen to it and I think this is um a unit I get a lot of questions on a lot around like what products I use again no products to give it any shine it really is about the quality of the hair like I don't put any gloss on it I don't spray anything on it I don't put any sheen on it I don't put any oil on it um, this is just how it looks um, when I got it and then of course for this I use a dry shampoo um, I don't have to worry about color or anything but again it's always the part parts around my face that tend to get oily and then towards the root because the oil from my hair transfers to this but yeah I think I got 24 
I want to say 24, 22, and then like an 18 inch closure. And then I put the layers in it. Of course, I will pop up some pictures, but I love her. This is just a good old classic. Um, I always need some nice, you know, black hair. Nice little middle part. Stunning. But yeah, her hair is... But again, all of the ladies that I work with or get hair from, they wear their own hair, which is very important. So I feel like they're... You know it's trial and error and they're testing it and figuring out like what the best hair is because they have to represent their brand so that just I don't know makes me trust them more um, as opposed to like a huge company where like how do you really keep track of like quality control so that's my little two cents on that okay guys that is it those are all of my units I hope this was helpful I hope this answers every question of course if you have any other questions leave them below i'll be in the comments i will respond i will link everyone's instagram page below and i will include like the um elastic bands i use in the description i'll include the wig caps i use on all of the ones that i made but i've made every wig here except for the two colored ones from the wig house and of course make sure you check out today's sponsors waterless hair for your, I mean, your natural hair, or if you wear wigs or units or weaves, especially if you have any color, make sure you're not washing them too much and like killing the color. I highly recommend the dry shampoo foam. I really like this one, a little goes a long way. And then I have been loving this little nugget. Can you see that? But it's just a fragrance, again, that you can spray on your hair. And I like the rose peach. They do have a few flavors since. <laughs> but I like the rose peach so make sure you check them out I will link them below as well and of course if you stuck around this long make sure you subscribe hit the bell notification so you never miss a video follow me on Instagram at Hilo Lux and read my blog hilolux.com as always thanks for stopping by see ya